Welcome to another episode of Morning Market Call. I'm your host, Dave Wood. With me today, today is MBA expert Chris Colton, second year MBA and current survivor of the intense program that we have here at BYU. Uh, so we figured many of our audience is very curious, how and what do you have to do to survive the incredible workhorse behind workload behind the BYU MBA program. And Chris has a couple suggestions for us. Uh, let's see what we are. We got time management. We have time management. And we also have getting to know other people and maybe their strengths. And finally, set priorities. So let's let's start with time management. Chris, why is that so key? Well, time management is really important as an MBA. Uh, the reason that it's important is because you have so much to do and you have a finite resource on, on how much time you have during the day. Uh, your professors require a lot of you. They've got you know cases, books, and they're not really in line in tune with each other and saying, hey, you know, let's kind of smooth this out. Um, so some really simple time management ideas that uh, have worked for me. Uh, one of them is audiobooks. Uh, if your teacher has a book that's on some business principle, on the goal or whatever you need to read for class, uh, you can get the audiobook and you throw it on your iPod and you can do your exercise. You can go walk in the gym or whatever you're doing and listen so to the book. For this exercise, you will need an iPod, some headphones, a pair of ears, and time to listen to it. And an audio, Audible account, whatever, whatever, wherever you want to get the book from. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think that's really important and I think it can help you kind of manage your time. The second thing for time management is when we're working with groups, uh, limit your group time. Uh, make sure you have a good agenda. Uh, I know that for a popular finance class the, with, with Hal Heaton, you can spend up to seven hours preparing for a case with uh, minimal. Seven hours? Yeah. That's one class? One class. So okay. And how, you take more than one class, I presume? Uh, a few. Yeah. Uh, since, since you're enrolled in a few, but you, you get, you know, the, the thing that I found worked best for that was we just said, we have two hours, everybody come prepared, whatever we get done in two hours. Hopefully we get more than halfway done by the time no, no, just two hours. That, that worked out uh, pretty good. There's that uh, Pareto principle, right? 20%, right. 80%. So um, I think that's important. The next thing. So let's talk about our next thing then. Uh, that is getting to know other people. Why, why is that so important? Uh, well, a big value that we get out of the MBA program, and everybody knows this, is networking. But uh, it's kind of better if you actually know the person, right? I mean, it's nice to be able to see the person you know, later on and say, hey, we both went to BYU. That's great. Uh, but it'd be a lot better if you actually knew them, you know their family, you get to know them as people. Um, that way they, you can kind of strengthen that network. So if you don't want to get to know someone, that's what LinkedIn is for. I mean, I have a lot, you're on there. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're, we're connected together on that and so that's how this all happened. But um, Okay, you know, another thing that's really important too is when you're trying to get to know someone's uh, whether they can do it or not, it's finding members in your group who are, you know, the mathematicians, who are the marketing experts, and who has worked in this certain field before that, that really can, you know, drive the group to success. And some of those people may not be the most outspoken, and they'll let someone else with less experience run the show, and that could be a mistake. Uh, that actually took, was, was very uh, important to my internship. In the internship we got in, we're doing a group project, and uh, one of the very first things we did was said, what's... Well, can, can we identify our strengths and put them out here on the table and then we'll just work on the things that we're good at. Um, and that really helped us be successful in our group project. Great. Okay, so let's talk about your third thing then. Uh, priorities. We have yeah, lots of competing priorities here. You have a family, right? I do. Um, yeah, I just had a, I had just had a baby girl. So Congratulations. She you. demands some time, I suppose? Just a little bit. Um, and she's, she's kind of throwing up a little mix in the schedule wise so we get up at 2 in the morning but uh, it's, it's or you can just stay up from 1 a.m. to 2 right I, yeah that uh, more often than not that's what happens <laughs> but, so priorities are important I mean you have your family you have your classes and you kind of have a job that you're trying to find um, and when it comes down to it you need to take care of your family and you need to find a job um, grades are not quite they're, they're important but maybe not so high up on the list no, they're not. They're not important yeah. at all. Um, but you also want to learn stuff. You want to be prepared for class. You want to go to class and be able to have a discussion. So I know it sounds kind of like we have some competing uh, uh, things that we talked about here, but uh, if you manage your time, you get to know some of the people, you, you set priorities and you, you know, learn stuff, I think that there's a lot that you can do um, given that this task is kind of set to overwhelm you. Um, and that's really kind of the, the thing that we can get out of this is 
you, they're just going to keep throwing stuff at you, but you can learn to manage it and deal with it. All right. Thanks, Chris. Well, I think it's clear that the BYU MBA program is not for the weak-minded or the weak of knees. Uh, it definitely is designed to challenge you. So here are some strategies for all of you MBA students out there and those prospective MBAs on how to survive our intense program. So thanks for being on the show, Chris. Thank and you. we'll see you next time. Morning Market Call is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in cooperation with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MMC is made possible by generous donations from Larry Tasjan and Gary Williams. This show was produced by Jeff Butler, David Wood, and Doug Mumford with line producing by Beth Grimmett. For more information, please follow us on Twitter and Facebook.